Good morning, y'all. Thought I would take y'all along for the day. I look a hot mess, but today's the day. I am making some cinnamon toast for breakfast for myself. I've got to go pick up Mason at 5.30 and Cooper at 6, so it's almost 9 o'clock now. I'm probably going to take a shower before I leave. Um, but if you saw my little update video yesterday that I filmed, it's actually up today. The day I'm filming this video is the day y'all are seeing that video. Like I am like really behind on videos right now. The cat is here. It is an amazing cat. It just does its own little thing. I love it. Um, so Ricky, I don't know why they named her that, but that is her name. So that's what we're going to leave it. She's already old enough. So she knows her name. Um, and she does her own thing. Let me see if I can find her. I've got a lot of stuff I need to do today before leaving the house, like getting sheets on my bed and stuff washed. The kids are washed, but not mine. And I need to move the Christmas gifts. Hi, Ricky! Out of my room so the kids don't find them. And I also got some uh, packages in from Timu that were Christmas gifts for the kids that I've got to do something with. And a few things didn't fit the kids. I didn't have to return them, but it gave me money back. Um, so there's a few things I'm going to have to replace. But if you want to see your Ricky, I'll show you. Hi, Ricky. Hi. Hi. She is super sweet. So, her owner that surrendered her because the owner was on hospice had already provided food. So, she eats Purina 1 and then she eats Meow Mix soft food every day. And then, they gave me a little thing to litter. So, I didn't have to get any of that. I got a litter box, but this one is from Dollar Tree. I didn't know they sell cat boxes, but apparently they do. So, I got her just a cheap one for right now. And I thought I'd show you everything else I picked up. I have like three bags that I picked up in there. Um, I couldn't find her a collar. So I may, when I go to town, find her a collar. Um, but exciting news. I have an offer with a different vet clinic. I kind of explained to them at the one I was at. I just didn't pick up on restraint with the animals. And I just feel like... If I would have been given more time on that, that I would have been great because I loved it. Um, and they want to offer me a position. I don't know what the pay is yet or any of that. Um, but I do know they are offering me a position. I got to go in Tuesday to talk to them. And this is more of an ER setting. So, and it's about the same schedule. So... I'm super excited about that. So I'm going to go talk to them Tuesday, but they have offered me a position. I just have to go and figure everything out. So I'm not going to sub. I told y'all in my update video I was going to because I was waiting to hear back on those other ones. And I'm going back to school in January. But honestly, if I'm going to go for some type of vet stuff to school, I need to be working in a vet office. It just is the best thing for me. So, Dollar Tree. Oh, she also came with her cat crate um, that the owner left. So, I got this really pretty. And she had a bed, but it was really nasty. So, I'm going to pick her up a new one in town today. Um, but I got this really pretty bow. I'm going to tell Cooper that Santa came early. Just for one of his gifts because he found a cat that needed a home. And heard that he wanted a cat. So I got him this red bow. I'm going to put it on the crates before I leave and put the cat in there. Um, I'm not leaving super early. She, she won't be in there too long. I got a scooper for the litter box. I just felt like it would be, this is like a really good um, starter cat. Since we lost our kitten because it went to the neighbors and she ended up taking it in. I feel like an older cat at this point. It's just a really good starter. And then I did get her some treats. They didn't have many at the Dollar Tree I went to. So I might go to a new one today. Not a new one. Like another one today when I'm in town. 
but this is Vitacraft and it's three pack treat for cats per sticks, chicken recipe, fresh meat and salt. So I got her that. I got this little two pack of lint rolls because I wear a lot of black leggings and with an animal in the house now, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> Then this cool llama banded band-aid. I got this, this was actually a trip before this one. And I had a nail that was breaking off and it broke because I had my fake nails on and it caused the nail underneath the fake nail to break and I couldn't get it off without pain. So I kept using band-aids and band-aids to just let it fall off on its own. Well, it did, but I didn't get to this box of band-aids, but it's cool llama, shape of the llama. Picked up some dots. It's one of Cooper's favorite candies. So I got him those. He's super weird. I don't know why he likes that. That's to go in his stocking. I have like way overdone stocking. And they have a lot more of the socks coming out. I told you about Cooper loving the really tall socks. Crew socks. Even though they don't fit him, they're his go-to. So he's getting like four or five pairs of these in his stocking this year. He's going to be really like, super excited. I hope I can find another Ninja Turtle pair because he loves those. But these are Nerf and he loves Nerf guns. So I got that. This sounded really good when I was in there and I just haven't gotten to it yet. It's Terry's Orange Chocolate. I used to get those as a kid. And then I just got a few more little gift tags for gifts and things like that. So yeah. That's about it. I'm waiting on my food to finish cooking and I'm fixing to start putting bedding and all that to wash and hopefully hop in the shower and get some stuff done around here before I have to leave the house. So I forgot there was one more bag from Dollar Tree yesterday. It was still in my car and I went out there to grab something and saw it. So this is the only thing that's not food. It's this Baby Love by Personal Care Top to Bottom Wash. The kids are almost out of body wash. I picked that up to have a restock on hand. Then both of these were new and also I've never seen this body wash. These are Sun Best Fruit and Grain Bites. I'm thinking these are like the knockoff of Pop-Tart. They're strawberry. That's the only flavor they had. $1.25. Comes with four packs. So I thought we'd open it up so you can see what size it is. If it's even worth the money. Let's see. Oh, it's about the same size. I think you get about four or five in there. No. I think there's only like two in there. So those are like snack size. There's only like two. I don't know if that's the best deal. I feel like I'd go with the Pop Tart brand. And then I've been want I've been hearing about fruit strips and like a dye free group because I want to try it, but I just haven't like decided to 100% go for it yet. And I can't find fruit strips anywhere. And so I saw these. I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree. And it's Fit Fit Strawberry Fruit Bars. You get four fruit strips. They're individually wrapped and they're vegan. So we got four of them to let the kids try them and see if they like them. And if they like them, then I can probably order them from somewhere. Okay, I'm cleaning my washer out. And then I'm going to start washing bedding, but I'm starting to sweep my floors and stuff. But I want to show y'all a few things in case you're looking to save a little bit of money this Christmas. I know a lot of people don't support Timu, but me, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. It saves me a lot of money and I've been using them for over two years now and I've never had an issue with them. And I just, this is not sponsored, but I just wanted to show y'all the deals I got. You're going to save a lot of money on your kid or family's Christmas. So, I've got Coop, uh, Mason these little Crocs. They're the fleece line Crocs. Under $5. And they're not Croc brand, but they don't know the difference. Water books. I got four water books and four markers. They're the clear ones. And they only draw on these books. This was under $6. A kid's cutting set for like helping mom out in the kitchen. If you can assume what child this is for, they're not real knives, but they are sharp. That, so these do need to be kept up in the kitchen with you unless they're helping you. Um, 
They have different sets of these. Some of them are like $10. Some of them are like $2 or $3. Um, Cooper's Crocs. His were like $7. Um, just because they were a little bit bigger. Socks. Under $3. Y'all, that's not everything I've gotten. I don't want to show you everything and ruin my Christmas video. But if you have not checked out Timu, check it out. I'm telling y'all now. A smartwatch. It was $6. And it connected to my phone. I can get messages to it. Came with the charger, two different bands, instruction manual in English, in another language. I'm not sure which other language it is. But yeah, a whole nother bag right there of stuff that I've got to put away so the kids don't find. But if you're looking to save some money over Christmas, definitely check out Timu. I recommend if you're going to do some shopping, you need to do it in the next week or two because sometimes it does take like three weeks to come in. So if you're going to place orders, for Christmas on there I would do it pretty soon so it is now 10 o'clock my washer is still running it's like just cleaning itself um, I just talked to Cooper's dad um, his wife's grandmother well one of her grandmothers passed away about a month ago and then her other grandmother passed away like two days ago so they're having a funeral today um and so times are having to be switched around a bit which is fine i wanted to kind of get in town and run a few errands today i need to drop a box off at ups um i can't bring it to the post office um something else i wanted to go out and do a little bit of christmas shopping just kind of look around and then i do need to run back in at dollar tree because i didn't have much time yesterday I was kind of on a time frame to go and get that cat I kind of want to run in there and get some things like I need some bleach and stuff like that. And that's just where I prefer to get my bleach and stuff like that. Um, some drawer sheets, little things like that. And I just kind of want to look in at like Marshall's, Five Below, places like that again. I find visiting them frequently, I have been finding a lot of the things that my kids have on their Christmas list. So I kind of want to go in with like a $100 budget today and just see what I can find. But first, I'm gonna go take a shower, do something with this nasty hair, put some pretty on my face, some makeup on my face, cause I feel like I need it today. And then we'll figure out when we're gonna leave from there. All right, y'all, so I took a shower, got my sheets and comforter and a few blankets in the wash, it's not too much. I just, my comforter's pretty thin. Honestly, I need to buy a new one. I may look into that today. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But I've got a little bit of makeup on. And I put a little bit of stuff on my lips to give me some color because I didn't put too much makeup on and I feel like I look a little washed out. Um, and while the sheets and things are washing, I can't leave the house yet because then I'm just going to be way too early because it's not even 11 o'clock yet. I think I'm going to film my kids' stocking stuffer video. I did film the kids' Christmas video, but I ended up deleting that footage because I didn't feel like I had enough to show y'all. Because I don't have everything here yet, I felt like I was like inserting a lot of clips of pictures, and I just don't like doing it that way. So I deleted those videos um, and never uploaded them. But I will be refilming them once I have most of everything here. I may not have everything, but I'll have like 99% of it here before I film it hopefully um I've, I think I'm waiting on like I've still got to buy like six or seven things for the kids together and that's it so no I'd say 10 because I still have to get their joint gift and I have not fully decided I have one of their joint gifts but their other one I'm kind of going back and forth with and I just haven't fully decided yet there's two things I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do so Waiting to figure out what I'm going to do on that. Um, I wanted to get him a nugget couch, but I just, I feel like it's a great gift, but I just feel like we don't have the space for it. So that's why I haven't really decided. And then I've been eyeing, um, last year these were really popular and I didn't cave into it, but I'm like this year, I feel like my kids are really at the age and they're only like 20 bucks, but it'd have to be a gift together because it is so big. It's just a cardboard tent. You can find them online or probably in store at like Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, not Marshalls, Michaels, um, Walmart, Target, places like that. 
it's a cardboard tent and it's drawn out and so they can actually play in it but they have like designs on it whether it's a gingerbread man or whatever and it's just in black and white so the kids get to color it and decorate it and play in it so it's like a two-in-one type gift and eventually it gets tossed out so thinking about getting that but i haven't decided yet um but i am definitely going to go and look around in town today and see what i can find see if maybe i can buy one um i just don't think the nugget couch is going to be a good option for us um so that may be a next christmas thing if we end up moving i don't know we'll have to figure that out when it gets here but i think the nugget couch is definitely off the table this year just because i don't want to like fill my house up with that and i was originally planning to put it like right there but with this little couch right here i just don't think i've got the space and in my head i was like it'll work for right now and when we move but things have been up in the air and at this point now my dad doesn't want to sell the house and wants me to stay here for another year or two so i just don't know and so i just don't think it's a good option because i don't want that to be crammed in the corner right there and it just looked really trashy so i think i'm gonna go ahead and film the kids stocking stuffer videos and then we'll get on with our day i'm gonna come up with a plan for when cooper gets here this evening i'm gonna try and catch this cat it's under my bed currently put it in the crate because i don't want to leave it out while i'm gone um but I wrote him a letter and I'm going to give it to him and Santa asked me to write this letter since he helped me get this cat here. So that's how this is going down and I'm going to put it on top of the crate per Santa's instructions. And it says, Dear Jenna Cooper, I've seen you tell your mom you wanted a cat. I found one just the other day that needed a new home because her mom is very sick. I thought you would be perfect for the job and decided to stop by early. See you soon. Love, Santa Claus. So, I'm going to put this on the crate. I had to be super slick. Santa told me to try and not use my writing. So, this is just an early gift. Santa said he's still coming to see him Christmas Eve night. So, I think he's going to be really excited and now it is time to try and catch this cat and get it in the cage so I can get to town and do some errands before I have to pick up kids.